Hey. So I had this opportunity to work with a great bar here in town and to make some social media. And uh, I made this little effect. It's a simple effect. It's really easy, really effective. I thought I would show you how to do it. First things first, let's have a look at it. So yeah, it's a pretty simple effect, but very effective. It's basically just a match cut. So what a match cut is, is the last or the ending, the last frame or the ending of one clip matches in some way the beginning of the next clip, easing the transition. So in this case, we had the same background uh, and the position of the drinks were in the same position. So it, your eye is drawn to the subject, which is the drinks, and then transitions really quickly so your eye doesn't need to move, makes it easier for the viewer to understand what's going on. So, pretty straightforward. Now, a couple of things you need to worry about to do this kind of effect in camera to make it easier for you in post. So the first thing you need to do is a still camera. On a tripod, in this case, we just put it on the bar, always good. As long as the camera's still throughout, it makes your life like a million times easier. So, and the next thing you've got to worry about if you want to do this effect is make sure the drinks are placed in the same position. But once you get those two things sorted out, the rest is easy in post-production. So let's go in and check it out. Okay guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've imported the clip straight in. Give it another quick grade because looking at log is a pain in the ass. And so what we can see is here's our master drink where we I think I've done that a couple of times, no. Um, yeah, so we bring the drink in and then we bring the drink out. So that's all good. And then the rest of the footage is the other drinks being put into position in the exact same position. So we've captured all the drinks by themselves. You can see they're just making a little adjustment. And next drink, mmm, yeah. Yeah, then we've got a heap of drinks going. Right, so they're all our drinks that we need to worry about. So what we need to do first is split the clips up. So we got our intro, just gonna use our wheels to make it a little easier. Now it's out of there, so we're just gonna split it there. And that's our intro clip. And we're just gonna split it there. That's our outro clip. So just to make it easy so I don't get confused, I'm just going to move the outro clip to the far end. And now we're just going to go and grab little slithers. So we're just going to cut it there. And I find moving up, I was using three frames. So you just use the side arrow three times, that gets you three frames, do another cut. We delete that section and to delete them so they're nice and tight. Then we'll just move to the next drink. There we go. Beautiful. Then we'll just uh, cut and, and ripple delete. And then, well, oh, almost forgot. Move forward three frames, cut. Okay, so you, you get the idea. So I'm just gonna do the rest really quickly now. One eternity later. Alrighty, so here we are. All the end up, we've got intro, all the slithers in the middle, and then an outro clip. We play it through, bang, 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 nice. And there we go, that's the effect. What I found too, because we had only had a handful of drinks, uh, I like to make a bit of a gap and make a copy and because it's going so quickly because it's going so quickly it actually you don't notice they're the same drinks because it's really cool effect so that's the basic setup pretty simple pretty straightforward really effective i've added a few more extra little things on top of that just to increase the production value i'll quickly show you them and then yeah you're good all right, so a couple of other things that I've added in, if you wanted to add a little bit more 
pizzazz to it, increase your production value. I'll just go over here and show you because it's like, it's no point me doing it for you. So let's just, I'll just uh, disable certain things. First things first, I've got a music track. Now it's a four cut track uh, and I've just split it up. So that is put some music to it. Then down in here, I've got some awesome little popping sound effects that adds a little bit of production value for each of the transition changes. Puts a little sign transition to it. I've added in my logo. Just play that. There we go. So I've got a little bit of a dark background that fades in and then my logo zooms in from the left and does its thing. Awesome. Uh, then what I've done all up as well is I put an adjustment layer in and the adjustment layer throws it in like this and does a slight pull out. So it gives the whole composition some movement, which works really well. And the one thing that I didn't show you is I've added in some bars. You go into the timeline, output blanking. So I'll just go reset. Um, and you can see there's a dark patch down here. That's because if we go in here, sorry, go into the adjustment layer, I also moved everything up a little bit. So that's the original shot. But then when you go into the timeline output blanking to give it some fancy wancy memory bars, it cuts the bottom. So you can use the adjustment layer to adjust your Y position to where you'd like it. And then bang. Now the one thing I didn't like about it too is I found that the TV moving and, and the reflections really annoyed me. So I just added a still image of the background, which removed that in just the transition section. So it just doesn't pull your eye away from the main subject, which is the center. So there you go, pretty simple effect. Pretty straightforward. Client loved it, so that's even a better thing. Uh, yeah, hope you like it. Catch up.